All right, well, I already started taking apart the gearbox. What have I done so far? On the end of the gearbox here is fifth gear. I've already taken that off using a gear puller. And you can see over here, we have, this is fifth gear. And this is the synchros for fifth gear. This is how it actually changes gears. A little bit more on how that goes back together later. And that's the gear selector. The next part in taking the apart this gearbox is to get off these little C-clips here. Same over here. These are the gear selector rods. We're going to take the C-clips off there too. And then we're going to take this plate off. That's going to let us get the actual housing in half here. And the reason why I'm taking the gearbox apart is for that oil drive diff to go in. The tool every man needs. Two foot breaker bar undo these Torx head screws now that's off soak up some more oil another large c-clip to get off this one is very large so now that all the top stuff's done there it's time to remove all the bolts that hold the case in place there they're all going to come off now and don't forget these three hidden suckers here inside the bell housing. Now that they've all been cracked loose, we'll just use this little sucker to undo all of them. There's about 14 of them. All the bolts are out. Now it's time to give it some love taps. You want to break the seal, basically. It's got a silicon seal that's been on there for about 20 years. We're going to break that off and then pry her open. I'll set you up down here so you can see what's going on. Got the case broken open, took a bit of effort. Now, hopefully, I can just wiggle the case. And all the leaves and suckers come out. And then we're in business. This is the inside of your gearbox. There it is. Next part, getting those shifter levers off and having all the gears come out and I can get to the diff in the back corner. So this is the inside of a gearbox, an E153 gearbox in particular. This is the reverse gear down here. That's reverse. And then here's your different gears. So that one there is first, second, I'm oh sorry, that's reverse, second, third, fourth, and then fifth was that one that was on the outside of the gearbox, which is over there. This here is the part that we're changing. So that's the differential. We're changing it from a front wheel drive differential into a front and center differential for the oil drive conversion. To get these gear selector forks out, we actually have to undo this little Allen key here. There's a little ball and spring in there that holds these shafts in. Now that they're free, undo these actual gear selector nuts here. There's one there and there's one up on this one too, for the side. And then we're going to pull those out. The next video, we're going to do looking at the diff, the new diff going in.